The, uh, the inspiration for Mama Ann really comes from our experience in history with some mom. Uh, we've listened to customers, we, we've understand the challenges they've had with that product, and we've tried to address all of that in Mama Ann. The modularity, the ease of use and setup, quick turnaround between scenarios is something we've heard and tried to address. And the, uh, the ethnic diversity is also very important. Um, strategic direction for Laredal and something we wanted to address in this product as well. Precise birthing experience with lots of control, uh, where we didn't have that before in Sim Mum. So, so a lot of improvements there. We've done uh, hopefully a lot of great work in the in the PPH and the bleeding solution, uh, both on the usability side and on the control, really trying to improve the user experience and just uh, give the best clinical and learning experience that the users can get. Um, overall, I'm just really excited about the product. We've done a lot of good stuff. You know, Mama Ann's gonna transform the user experience in a couple different ways. One, engagement, right? People seem to be super engaged when they see the product and kind of fall in love with her a little bit. I think also, just from a usability perspective, it'll engage people because it's so easy to um, load the baby, take the baby out, put it back together, and it just feels really solid when you do that. So I think that people will also um, see how this reflects the Laredell brand in a really positive way um, because the usability that was built into it um, is very thoughtful and people see that. I think women's health and especially labor care um, is not necessarily the area of medicine that gets the most money or the most attention, um, but I think it's really, really important. Um, and I've seen and met so many great midwives and nurses uh, over the last few years uh, working on this that, uh, yeah, it's really an honor to work with them and to make something that, um, yeah, can maybe help get them a little bit more prepared for those situations. So I think the things that we can anticipate in the future for Mamaran is all around the belly and the modulization of that. Uh, and what I mean by that is we've got a couple of modules that we're looking at launching uh, as part of a roadmap over the coming years. Uh, one of them would be the maternal initial assessment module, which is very much about uh, being able to palpate the baby uh, in its fetal position, something called Leopold's, and also looking at doing a vaginal exam for the early stages of labour, and that's determining the progress of labour. So we'll have different services and different head presentations in that. Also, we could be looking at a, a caesarean section module, which is partly for um, a maternal cardiac arrest. So there'll be a maternal cardiac arrest module with a C-section, but also a uterus that you can do left uterine displacement on. And then we're also be doing a flat belly skin so that you can make your full body simulator into a non-pregnant female mannequin.